A new iPhone is coming, it's probably loaded with all the technology that Apple can bring to bear. But the new iPhone 8 will probably be missing USB-C when it launches. Despite the rumors, Apple will probably be sticking with Lightning this time around, and here's why. USB-C power delivery is mostly here, faring better with lower powered devices than say the 15 inch MacBook Pro. That said, as it stands, Lightning charging is no slouch on some models. The 12.9 inch iPad Pro can charge up to three times faster using the 29 watt USB-C adapter from the 12 inch MacBook compared to using the included charger, proving the Lightning connector isn't a bottleneck. So Lightning still works as a charging cable, even on a fancy new phone packed with Apple's best technologies. In theory, USB-C wins with speed, though with a notable caveat. Lightning is capable of USB 3 transfer speeds given the right circumstances. As of April 27th, there is precisely one combination of hardware that allows USB 3 transfer speeds, a 12.9 inch iPad Pro with the Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. This capability exists with no other iOS device, largely as a result of the host controller, which also grants the 12.9 inch iPad faster charging with Apple's 29 watt power adapter. So future iPhones could get the faster data speed as well, still using Lightning. But given Apple's drive to shift everybody it can to wireless, there's no real need for a USB-C migration. Using the same testing facility as we used to deeper examine the LG Ultrafine 5K monitor, we tested a variety of 30-pin, Lightning, and USB-C connectors for brake strength. While the results were all over the place for force, the range for Lightning and USB-C metal tip brakes were in the same range way higher than that of a 30 pin connector. A metal tip brake isn't good in either case, but lightning does have a slight advantage in this regard. When a lightning tip breaks off, invariably there's a little bit of metal left in the iPhone or iPad. After fishing the tip out, the port still worked fine. When a USB-C tip broke, in four out of seven cases, it deformed the port rendering it useless. We can't say with authority that the same thing would happen in a USB-C iPhone, but we're also not sure that we'd want to test it with a MacBook Pro and certainly not with the iPhone 8 at launch. To borrow a phrase from Steve Jobs, USB-C is still a bag of hurt for Apple. If it stays with lightning, it antagonizes the crowd that wants to see universality. If it shifts, it annoys peripheral owners. No doubt, USB-C is a solid small universal port for cross-platform use. In our experience with MacBooks, the port succeeds admirably. The shift to USB-C is inevitable, but it probably still isn't this year. For more news, reviews, and how-tos, check out AppleInsider.com and subscribe to Apple Insider on YouTube.